It's the day of the second round of the FA Cup, and we are going to face Wickham Wanderers. They haven't been in the best of form, so I'm hoping for a bit of a giant killing to move us into that third round, and hopefully that big money spinner against a huge Premier League team. Let's go and check it out. Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back to episode 16 of The Road to Glory with Chatham Town. If you're enjoying this type of content and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, if you could do that, it would mean a lot to me. Don't forget to smash that like button while you are there. Right, let's get into it. Like I said, guys, we've got Wickham today in the FA Cup second round. So, pretty big one. We're away. Adams Park holds about 10,000, I think. Yeah, so it's not a huge money spinner. Like I said, they are 20th in League, league 1. So not in the best of form, although they are currently undefeated in about four games. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we can get something, something over them. Fingers crossed. Uh, while you've been away, I did say I was going to come back for this game, but the first round FA Cup was just against Dover, and I thought, mm, let's try and get the second round. Might be a bit, a bit better. But uh, after our game against Fyde, we beat, we drew Cheltenham one all, beat Ebbsfleet two one. Fortunately, lost to Stockport, who are top of the table at the moment. That's a cracking game. Uh, beat Blythe Spartans in the uh, FA Trophy, 2-1. Dagenham Redbridge, 4-1. Beat Maidstone, 1-0 in a uh, bit of a local derby there. Drew 1-0 with Woking. There was that 1-0 win over Dover in the FA Cup. The fourth over Yeovil. Lost to Chester. They're third. So we've lost the top of the table on third table. We're second, as you can see there, which is it's a bit annoying. 2-1 over Barnet. 0 draw with Gateshead. 3-2 over Eastleigh. And recently a 2-1 win over Havant and Waterlooville, who did come up with us last year and are struggling at the bottom of the table. They have beaten they have beaten one team all year easily and sit on three points. Haven't even drawn any games yet. So as you can see, we're second. Uh, Stockport have a game in hand on us as well. So they win that. They will go seven points ahead of us, which is going to be really, really tough to catch. It could be playoffs for us. Kieran Wakefield has 10 goals in nine appearances. He is absolutely killing it. Freddie Potts, six assists, and Alfie Payne, five. So we're looking really, really good there. If we just expand the stages here, you can see here that we've scored 30 goals, so we can find the back of the net. But the 17 we've conceded is a little bit of a worry. Uh, that could be a case of, oh, let's, uh, where is he? Uh, Curtis Anderson. Maybe just you're starting to, you know, struggle at this level. The level below is probably where he needs to be, but... It's him for the moment because our finances are still shot, but hey, whatever, who's who's looking at them? So yeah, it, it's looking really, really good, and playoffs would be absolutely amazing considering we were uh, predicted to finish bottom of the table. Uh, playoffs are very tough in here, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six teams. I think it's like two and three get the day off or something, and then they go through uh, to get promotion. The two teams to Skybet League 2, Torquay are struggling in there. Struggle, struggle. So we've got Wickham today. Hopefully, uh, no, we don't want to do that. But let's, okay, here we are. Good. Anderson and goal. Little at right back. Mason at left back. Sheridan Jackson in the center of defense. Jackson is tied, but we need all our best players on the field. Uh, Adam McCarthy. He is on loan from Coventry. Uh, got him in just as a backup DMC when, um, what's his name? Um, the Halavan had a massive injury, which he did. So we've got him in. He hasn't looked too bad in seven appearances, an average rating of just under seven. So uh, not a bad signing. Can play in the middle of the park and in centre of defence as well. Beckwith and Payne in that midfield. Coney on the left, Cooper on the right, and obviously Wakefield up front. Looking good. All right, point the finger. We've been on a good run lately. Go and impress me. We'll give him all the, the usual stuff. Kieran Wakefield, our fingers crossed he's going to do it for us today. Like I said, Wickham... Haven't been in a great uh, bit of form, so I'm hoping to capitalise on that, do a bit of an FA Cup upset, and uh, and get that third round money spinning tie at you know a Manchester United or Liverpool or somewhere like that. Where we'll get hammered, but it's all about the cash, baby. All about the cash. It is Wickham now on the attack, and Hogan there having a pop at Anderson, equal to the task. We are less than a minute in, and they've already had one shot on target and have got in a corner, but it is headed away by Beckwith and Wakefield on the ball now. Oh, that is red card him, red card him, ref, red card him. I was going to encourage the boys then, but we've, we've come straight back into another highlight, and there's Stuart on the ball now. That's Abby for Wickham. 
finding Gate Bear and Grimmer. They seem to be cutting through us relatively uh, easily, as you would expect. I mean, you know, the start of life in the FM save, uh, the start of the League One, recently relegated from the Championship, and so they are a very, very good team, uh, especially when you compare them to us. And uh, there is Hogan. And like I said, they were on a bad run of form, but they are undefeated in the last four or five. So that is probably, uh, you know, in hindsight, going to uh, uh, to count against us. But is Anderson on the ball now, playing it out to Sheridan at the back end. Sheridan and Jackson, Jackson hooping it up, but it is straight to Abby in the, the blue shirts, unfortunately. And it is Wickham now. Trying to put this game beyond out before half times. Hogan with another head on. Daryl Hogan has scored two headers. And uh, and we are struggling to deal with him at the moment. I, I don't think he's very good in the air, is he? I can't don't remember. I have, have used him before, but I, from what I remember, he's a, he's a winger who lacks a bit of natural fitness. But the two headers so far have been absolutely crushing. And it is Wickham on the ball now again. There's that goal scorer, Hogan, out to Grimmer, but Sheridan this time. And it's frustrating that we are losing the headers because we do have such good um, defenders at the back there. But that is a great ball from Coney to Wakefield. And can he get this in? Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's hit the crossbar. That would have been a great goal and would have got us back into this game. No ends. But, I mean, we are 2 nil down on the plus side. There's only 20 minutes in the, into the game. Um... If we, if we can keep the, the not scoring till half time and maybe pinch one ourselves like that Wakefield chance there, I, you know, second half we can come out and we can really, you know, try and upset the apple cart. But it is Wickham here and it is Dominic Gape slapping that into the back of the net. And that is probably going to be it, unfortunately. We've just been absolutely put some another bloody highlight. We've absolutely just been pulled apart by this Wickham team. They're always thinking we could do a giant killing, but probably caught them at a bad time. I think we're oh I thought Wakefield might have a small chance to nip it nick it off Stuart then, but goal scorer gate now to Pendlebury. And Wickham are just knocking this around. It's a it's a training run for them at this point. Unfortunately, we have really not put up much of a fight. And Little gets the ball there. But that's a poor hoof. And CV now. Wallace, but he can't control it. And we managed to clear it. And that all it seems to be at the moment is uh, balls flying into the box, us occasionally clearing them, uh, only to uh, to hoof it down to halfway to Wickham to, to pick it back up and, and start countering again. But it is headed away there by McCarthy with the clearance and... Hogan couldn't get to it, it goes over the line. I mean, having a look here, they've had five shots on target. That XG, though. Anderson, I'd say he's had a mare in, in goal, but he's on a 6.9. Here's Hogan trying to get a free kick as Anderson tips that away. We didn't tip it, hit the, hit the, hit the crossbar. <sighs> so frustrating, so frustrating. So frustrating. I'd, I'd be happy 2-0 at half time, but 3-0 is going to be quite... A, uh, quite a big one to overcome. I don't know how many people are here will check that next time. There's a there's a break in play, but as the rain starts coming down, was it raining before? I didn't notice, but uh, Williams on the ball now, and uh, yeah, two thousand seven hundred. That's that's a poor attendance. We almost. Have the same XG as them. They're just under one, and we are 0.79. Uh, I'm going to thrash the arms, uh, and I'm going to tell them that was absolute crap. And maybe they can, I don't know, man more with three, three goals in the second half, but we're already up to 55 minutes, and we haven't had a highlight, and I have some, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to make some changes here, I think. We're going to make some changes. This is not going well at all. But, you know, what do you expect? Uh, Alfie Payne's not playing well. Ben Cooper's not playing well. We're going to bring Jerem DeFreitas on for Cooper. Um, Beckwith. Uh, we'll get three pots on for Beckwith. It's triple substitution there at the 60th minute mark. Hopefully that does something. I don't know what it's going to do. Why do we always have the 
positional heat map for the other team. I mean, look how many times the goalkeepers touched it today, playing it out, and we're, we're going to get little to no highlights in the second half. As the clock starts to wind down and we are out of the FA Cup, which is disappointing. I think the, the three goals they scored were lucky. I mean, at least one of them was lucky, and that is full-time, and we are done and dusted. Do you know what? I'm not happy with the performance out there, because I'm not, because we were crap. And there's the confirmation. We get three, just over 3K. Finances-wise, we are under that half a million mark now, as so we had uh, probably, we got about 50,000, I think, from gate receipts for that, which uh, it's a bit of a blow, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to play Boreham Wood now. They're in 13th. Uh, we've got to keep winning. Uh, as we have now dropped down to third as Chester have won a game. Uh, Stockport, what happened to them? Did they, they drew, they drew with Woking, that is excellent. So we definitely need this win here today to go back in the second on goal difference and two points behind Stockport, although they do have a game in hand, but they, we are still five points ahead of them at the moment. So uh, behind them, sorry. So it's not, it's not all doom and gloom, but I mean, we'd, we'd be doing pretty well to get so many promotions in a row. So a National League is hard. Anyway. To the Boreham Wood game. All right, massive changes for the Boreham Wood game. Uh, a whole new back line. Uh, Davish uh, Sona. This guy here, uh, Andrew Bennett, looks a handy little prospect. Um, Nwokji. Nwokji. Uh, Diva ha Haviland. Payne and Beckley still in the middle there. Hurdle on the left and Woodman up front. As as you can see, we've got some very, very tired players here. But... Uh, let's, I've selected two substitutes outside the match. Okay, yeah, sure, because FA Cup, whatever. Um, yeah, we need to win this to keep that pressure on Stockport. Uh, and hopefully we can do that. All right, game kicks off. I've told the players to uh, give a better performance than last time. It still comes up with those boring wood ones. Anyway, it's pain on the ball now to hurdle. Woodman! Is he offside? Is he offside? No. No, that was a great goal. Great goal from Woodman there. Haven't played him a lot actually. Uh, I said he, I said I would, but that is a really, really good goal. Thought he was offside there, but Payne and Hurdle here, and here he is. It's a great run into the box, and no one picks him up, and he just smashes that into the top bins. So great! So I'm never going to be able to change that. Oh, he's off, and this game is actually going really well, <laughs> really well. We're seven minutes in, and uh, T.J. Whiteman has had two yellow cards. Had himself sent off. Right, I'm going to pause it this time. Chatham positional heat map. And here I want the league table. Right, it's good. Let's go. This is great. This is a great game. Absolutely great. A, a goal, and, a, and they're a player down within seven minutes. As you can see here, we're back into second place. Same goal difference as Stockport, which is really important. We keep up with them like that. Five points ahead of us. So they must be playing today as well. They must be playing today as well. Where are they? They're drawing one all with Gateshead. We're going to keep the... Uh, <coughs> these up here because this is an important game while well, flight are just putting barnet to the sword here as you can see their goals are just ticking over we're gonna go oh i thought we we're gonna get to half time then but we've got a highlight right before half time and it is uh boring wood on the ball looking now to try and cut that deficit down especially with 10 men 10 men this would be an absolute great time to score but as the rain comes down here at Maidstone Road, Anderson tips it over for a corner. Reese now with the co with the corner, whips it in, and Bennett, the youngster, I think this is his debut as well, headers the ball out of the way. So this would be a great time for him to um, uh, him to get some experience and uh, and with a win. We keep an eye on the likes of Payne and Beckwith and Cooper, who all have backed up since that FA Cup game. They're the only three who did. Everyone else was a full change apart from obviously the goalkeeper so i'm probably going to make the three substitution which will be uh defreitas aquara and freddie potts will come on for those three probably in uh in about now i reckon in about now in about now round about now joe defreitas uh, princey and potsy princey and potsy give the team talk point the finger go out there and make me proud boys hopefully we don't get an injury <laughs> Um, what's happened to the Stockport game? It's disappeared. There it is. It's back again. And they're still drawing three all with Gateshead. Wow. Wow. It is Davis on the ball now. Aquara here for us. And so Sonar. Bennett. Come to Nukwochi on the left here. Finding Potts in the middle. And they do a little bit of a one-two back and forth. And that is a poor pass. And Boreham would have intercepted. Now they look to try and counter. But 
we've 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 got it covered. Bennett now hoofing it forward. Woodman couldn't quite get there. Hurdle is playing absolutely awful on six point two, and uh, and is looking pretty tired. But unfortunately, I can't make any changes. As Joseph oh, a Josie scores for Boreham Wood, ten man Boreham Wood have equalised. I don't want to watch that. I'm going to shout the boys to demand some more. Got Davis with throwing now. Okwara plays it back to Davis. He tries and whips it in, and Woodman there couldn't quite get his head to the ball as Kurt clears. Go to Hurdle. Hurdle has a pop. Probably the only thing he's done all game. And uh, he wastes it. Wow. Flyed 7 1 up. I need Gateshead to win this game now that we are drawing, and the time is absolutely flying away from me here. Uh, we're going to extremely high tempo run. Be more expressive, sure. Uh, we're going to distribute quickly and sure, trigger press more often and just go really high up. And hopefully that does something for these last couple of minutes. Doesn't look like it's going to though, as we're heading into full time and it's going to be, oh, this is a disappointing result and Stockport have just put in a winner. Ah, uh, Stockport, have we, we bottled that. After scoring early and having a man sent off, we then just did nothing for the rest of the game. Not happy. Not happy at all. I did rotate the team a lot, so it's kind of on me, but I feel like the players we have here should have made a difference. And unfortunately, they didn't. That was rubbish, wasn't it? Yes, Wayne Christie, it was rubbish. Uh, as Stockport now are seven points ahead. We have a game in hand on Chester, but... As long as we can stay in that, in and around that top spot, like I said, Woodman finally scores. Yep, as I said, the National League is a very, very tricky league to get out. Um, I'm not going to show you the game against Dorking in the uh, Fat Cup third round. We're going to play a whole bunch here. There won't be many signings in January. Uh, we will probably come back to this Maidstone game, I think. Yep, Maidstone, the... Uh, a bit of a Ken Derby there. A bit of a local Derby as well, actually, I guess you could call it. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. If you're not subscribed and you've watched this far, if you could do that, would mean a lot to me. Tap that bell notification, smash that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.